All right, guys, welcome. This is Spider Inc. We're doing another survival chaos. Uh, this is just some random people online. So this is not a community battle. This is not a tournament or anything. We have Naga. We are the Blood Elf. There's Tarn and there's Void Elf. There's a gold mine right here. So we have one gold mine. Um. So yeah, it's Void Elf, Tarn, and Naga. Kinda need to survive the early game. Might just go ma yeah. go magic upgrade. Yeah, let's go mana. Let's go mana. Why not? It's been a while since I've done mana. So Naga's to my top. He's already done one armor. Let's do... let's actually do the magic. Just because I feel like I sh can do it. So getting the empowerment. I'm going to try to get 20 minute empowerment. Let's see here. We don't see any bonuses yet. Actually, it might be the Fury. The Fury might be the Tauren bonus. Because I think it's normally S Siren, right? Or is the Siren the mage replacement? Or the mage? Yeah, I think it's normally Siren. I think Fury is the re tier 1 unit replacement. So Naga's going for some early... Uh, early pushing, I think. I'm just going to take the damage. It's pretty early. Actually, I guess I will summon one and I will use a spell just because I have the mana bonus. Okay, Torrent is pushing in, but slowly, which I'm a-okay with. Let's check out, people are going fortification upgrades. Kind of wonders if I should do a fortification upgrade. I mean, nobody's gone tier 2 middle. I could go tier 2 middle. Be that one blood elf guy who goes tier 2 middle first. Before doing anything else. There is that gold mine there. Um, Alright, so the cha there are champions in middle. So that probably wasn't the right call. Still just on one armor. Torn has nothing. Void Elf, ha Void Elf has nothing. But that's because they're doing fortification upgrades. Alright, so yeah, I'm not able to push out at all. So my middle tier 2 was not a really good idea. I'm getting pushed in from the Tauren. Very simply, actually. Let's do another tier one spell. Thankfully, I will have I have extra mana regeneration for later because I will definitely need the extra mana regeneration. Did I already hear 
a hero being summoned. If I did, that's crazy. That'd be a crazy early hero. But I mean, when nobody upgrades the side lanes, crazy stuff can happen. All right, so everyone is tier two middle. His next wave should be appearing right about now. Let's cast that to get as many units as I can inside the damage. Let's go to tier two bottom. And then we'll start doing some upgrades. Probably fortification and armor. And then attack. After we go tier 2, of course. So he's going to be farming my lane a little bit, getting a little bit of extra gold, but that's okay. As long as I get another 47 gold, I should be happy. Perfect. Now I'm tier 2 everywhere, and now let's do fortification, two fortifications, and then an armor. I mean, heck, I could just go two fortifications and then not even do the armor. Uh, I might need it because he's going to be tier two with uh, unit upgrades. So I was thinking I go fortification, arcane sanctum. Could just go straight to two and get the mana shield. That mana shield would help out a lot. Mana shield, extra unit. I could do that. Now let's do fortification. Okay, people are starting to push out on the sides. I believe that the Torn is pushing through to the Naga. So the Nagas better be careful. And that middle Torrin wave that's right in his base, probably. That's easily a tier 1 spell, could even break down his whole barracks. Don't know yet. Alright, so I captured both sides. I captured those two structures and I captured that gold mine. That's good. I'll take it. So at 920, I can take a look to see if there's a gold mine on those ones. I haven't seen the Torin lately. In middle. Okay, so his wave is kind of just beating up mine. Let's do some attack. No gold mine, no gold mine. No gold mine, no gold mine. Okay, there's the Torrin. My wave is Finally getting to his base. But just a single tier one spell will stop my whole army for now. It's 
so that Tauren wave when it pushes in is going to be huge. Probably same with that Nagar wave. So I'm thinking go tier 3 on one of them. Probably should go tier 3 on the Tauren or on the Naga. Let's do the Naga first. And then we'll go tier 3 on the bottom. I know I was going to try to get the empowerment, but I'm scared that they will push in and I will lose. Just because I don't have too much unit you know, upgrades right now. And I know that the Blood Elves get strong later because of the mana, or the magic, and they get strong because of this mana shield too. But I need to survive this early game first. And for me to survive this early game between Tarn and Naga, I do think tier 3 is the way to go. So I'm going to go tier 3 bottom as well. That should let me take care of that Torrin wave. It'll give me an extra sorceress. It's faster spawn time. Should work out relatively well. If I get the golden time. Which I won't, because I'm having to buy all these units. Alright, so I bought all those. Let's use a tier 1 spell. Did we survive? That was pretty darn close on both sides. But the tier 3 did hold. And I did not go tier 3 on bottom. So I'm okay. I had to buy quite a few units, 21 units total so far this game. But I'm in a decent spot now. I'm gonna, going to ignore middle. Yellow Naga is definitely uh, in the lead right now. Let's get the mana shield. Let's get the brilliance aura. Am I pushing out or no? I mean, he's got. I have a pretty big backline right here. But his front line is actually getting to my backline. That was a hero from somewhere. I'm going to go Fortification Upgrades, and then Tier 2 Mana, or Tier 2 Magic, and then the Arcane Sanctum, and go for the Magic now. That's my goal, is going for the Magic. Or going Fortification, then Magic. 
then tier 3 main base, and then magic. So fortification, magic, tier 3 main base, and then call that good. There are tier 2 magic, then tier 3 magic. And then call it good, or something like that. Alright, so Naga went tier 3. I only have one defensive, one armor upgrade. But Naga's only at 2, Torin's only at 2, Voidolf is only at 2. So having one, I haven't really fallen behind that off that far. So that's good. My sorceresses will still get one shot by a Torin's uh, tier 1 spell. That's okay. They are definitely sending heroes. I could have I could have sworn I've heard multiple heroes. So they must be sending them in their respective lanes and not towards middle. So I haven't seen any heroes in middle. So again, I'm going to do this magic, then tier 3 magic. Hopefully I'll have enough for my tier 3 main base. And I'll go tier 4 magic. Oh, look at that. You need tier 3 main base before you can get tier 3 and tier 4 magic. I guess that makes a little bit of sense. That's a tier 2 spell. Was it needed? I don't know. Probably not. Okay, so Nagentis is middle. Tier 3, he's 6. 6 attack, 3 armor. So he is starting to do uh, his, uh, his researches. Hopefully my sorceress backline. Oh, that's a tier 2 spell. I'm going tier 3 on my sanctum. My main base. So I can go magic 3, then magic 4. If need be, I can send heroes. Oh man, Naga's just raking in the money right now. Probably because of my waves. He's been kind of feeding off me a little bit. Alright, so I'm getting this even though the Torrent's pushing in. I'm gonna have to defend this with uh, some units, not a tier 1 spell. I'm gonna have to send a hero top lane when the Naga pull in, probably. I would send a hero down here, but I don't have enough. Uh, oof. Yeah, I'm really falling behind on unit upgrades. I'm really falling behind on unit upgrades. Come on. Don't tell me we're going to have to cancel our research for a tier 1 spell, or a tier 2 spell, because I don't mind using a tier 2 spell, 
I just don't want to cancel the research. Okay, there we go. I now have tier two magic or tier three magic. Um, that was tough. I'm doing an armor upgrade. I need the armor. Because he's got eight attack, four armor. I at least need the armor. He's six and four. I should have gotten more basic unit upgrades. It's uh, now kicking me in the butt. But I am surviving against the Tauren. I know this tier 4 magic would really help me out, but that's it. Magic takes so long to uh, research. Do more armor. I'm just kind of letting my sorceresses hopefully build up by getting more armor for them, more armor for my front line, so that my sorceresses have more time to cast their spells. front line here. So then hopefully Kalthus will run in front of the barracks. Or something. Alright, he's got a phoenix now. Sweet. Okay, so I am pushing out the Tauren. I have a hero going top lane. Now might be the time for me to get to tier 4 magic. Now might be the perfect time for me to get to tier 4 magic. Then go tier 3 on the side lanes and empower the, the magic. It sucks that I had to send a hero top, but that's okay. That is a okay. That's a Naga hero, probably going middle. Alright, so what's my plan? Empowerments or save up my gold? Let's do the empowerments for the sorceresses. That was a torn hero. Torn went tier 3 on me. So I definitely have to save up and go tier 4 on the Tauren, or tier 3 on the Tauren at least. I could possibly just send a hero against him, against him, but... Do I go for another empowerment? He's relatively low on mana. He is tier 3 on the main base. He just got reinforcements. He's gonna send out a Shar sometime. Okay. 
You can't do an uh, offensive ultimate weapon yet. So that's good. Let's save up for tier 3, tier 4. Actually, let's just go tier 3 bottom. Maybe I can do the empowerment. I don't need to start saving up for special unit yet. Because Kalthus is still alive. He's got Lady Vosh pushing to the right. So he's not going to send out a Shara yet. So let's get the empowerment. Okay, so we went tier 3 on bottom. We don't have to worry about middle, because Naga's there. What do we do? More unit armor? Fortification? Let's do, for let's do fortification. Let's get the gold. And then we'll have to save up for buying units. <coughs> I should probably be doing these upgrades as well. But they'll come. I'm low. That's because I've been went tier 3 and got my... I'm basically getting the most expensive researches out of the way. That's kind of more or less what's kind of happened so far. The magic and these fortifications are pretty darn expensive. But the, the fortification is going to give me uh, gold in the long term, so... I'm okay with them. Let's do another fortification. Let's get... let's finish up the fortifications. I'm glad I went a few more unit armors. I needed the extra health on my units. Lady Vosh might actually die from like uh, my sorceresses from the AoE spells that they're casting. She might actually die to them. Torn is making getting a pretty big wave on bottom. Let's see here, do I send Kalthus? Do I send another hero, a different hero? Maybe I send Lothmar, get a few levels for him. send Leandrin yet. I'll wait for them to get a little closer to, to the base. If I haven't sent La Lady Leandrin. Could just go tier 4. Top lane. Now let's send her. Let's get a few levels on her. Alright, let's go armor, let's get, let's start doing some researching.
I've been hiding in the shadows quite quite good so far. Let's come out of the shadows a little bit. Okay, top barracks is going to be fully healed. Let's do that. Let's start increasing our mana. Whoa, whoa, whoa. Start increasing our mana regeneration a little bit more. 0.2 magic points per second. I'll take it. Bottom barracks is still in a tough position right now, I think. Okay, so we have seven armor. We're still at one attack. He's got almost no mana. Oh, that's because he just used a 2 2 spell. It's no problem. He's got nine attack. We have one. He also has. Eight armor. Let's go nine armor. Let our sorceresses stack up and start doing work. Even though they're gonna run out of mana. Alright, so they killed my hero. Well done, well done, well done. Let's see here. I will send a hero. Oh, uh, there is Kane right there. I will be sending the hero bottom. I'm going to start increasing my actual da my unit damage now, now that I have full armor. I might even go tier 4 on bottom, Kalthus and tier 4. Ooh. Naga went tier 4 on me, top lane. And that's perfectly fine. Got no problem with that. Naga's ahead in research right now. Do I send the fried chicken bottom? No. Will I have enough for Kalthus and Tier 4? That's an Agentus. I will have enough money for a tier 4 and Kalthus, but I also am going to need tier 4 top lane now. That was uh, a special unit from the Void Elf, that uh, hero sound was. Don't know who it's going to, but it was sent out. Use a tier one spell on that back line. Oh yeah, I need to not use my gold. 
because I need to save it so I can go to tier four and hero top lane. I think uh, Lothmar is going to be my hero for top lane. See if I can get Kane a little bit closer. Alright, so my middle barracks is still tier 2. Which is okay, that's fine. That's going to be a tough, tough one for Lothmar to deal with. I might have to summon Lady Landrin from middle and have her be redirected. That might just be a two tier, tier 2 spell. Tier 2 spell might just clear that up for me. Probably didn't need the tier 2 spell, but that's fine. I probably just needed uh, Lothmar. Alright, so we're going to continue researching. Meanwhile, Magentus is just attacking the barracks. Um, just trying to kill up these uh, units here, right next to my base. You know, don't mind me. There is an uh, Iron Tusk. Probably to go to the Void Elves, because, nope, he sent it to me. Okay. If I would say something that uh, Iron Tusk was probably not sent, supposed to be going towards me. Probably wanted to go top lane. Or left side. Because that really just doesn't make sense. So Nagentis has done like a thousand damage to my bear building. Feels like. But I am killing an Iron Tusk. That gave me some good gold. So my huge wave is not going to die to his fortress exploding because it just exploded so that huge wave is going to push through that's gonna be crazy I'm gonna easily probably take out this uh, tier 4 barracks I do have a lot of mages Let's just keep the researching going. Don't think it's time for me to start going middle yet. I'm just going to continue to save up my gold. I'm almost 9-9 on my attack. So 
So the Void Elves took care of the left side and his main base and his fortress. Meanwhile, I'm just clearing up the, clearing up the right side and the rest of the base with my huge army that's pushing through. Research. Oh, and red left, so now it's just me versus Naga, basically. Here co comes Ashara. That's about right. Oop, there's a lumber mill down here, that's awesome. I will have the fried chicken for top lane. He's almost out of mana. His base is just going to take damage thanks to my uh, all my mages. His base will just take a passive damage from him, from it. This wave should get relatively big. Uh oh. That is probably a big Naga force coming at me from middle. That was just tier two. So I probably need Lothmar. Him doing this little spinny thingy. I'll take it. Let's kill the one that's attacking the barracks. I still have 3,000 gold for top lane. I might have just stole those hero kills from the Void Elves. Ooh, look at that, the Holder. The Holder is the Void Elves. That's uh, my tier 4 replacement. Alright, so a Thistle should die to Lothmar. Or just die in general. Doesn't have to be tight to live more. Be kept thanks to the Void Elf backstabbing. I did not get the gold. Oh my gosh, look at that wave. Yeah, that barracks is dead. Let's do a tier 2 spell. We did a tier 1 spell, we did a tier 2 spell. So now let's try to keep our barracks alive. Meanwhile, let's have our Towers, research more. Fried chicken seems to be losing to Ashara. Let's try to have him redirect. Doesn't seem to be working with the redirection. That's okay. Um, I should probably go tier 4 middle. Uh, no, yeah. Maybe. Yeah, let's go tier 4 middle. Let's see here. Blood sacrifice. Sure. Alright, so we have Lady Leandrin and Inthul pushing top lane. 
Took a little bit of damage. Not a lot. Kara is gonna go hopefully top lane. Or just hang out right at that base for a while. Um do I have to think health this middle? I don't have to do anything, right? Get some more ma uh, mana regen. Again, Naga's like a really low on mana, so I don't really have to worry about his mana reserve. Let's repair top. It's really the only building that's got any significant damage to it. I'll take a free building kill. Magentus. Should be a relatively easy kill. Let's go projectiles. I'm gonna wanna keep, all right, so red finally died. I'm going to want to keep the tower researches going. Magentus should fall because he's going to get soul burned. Alright, so... This is going to finish first. Let's do Spellbreaker. Opal Missiles. Okay, so Magentus died. We are attacking his barracks. Oh, nice good wave spawn right there for him. There's Athissa and Urvia middle. Kara, Ilaria, and survival top lane. That's a tough looking top lane. Ooh, we got right side. I'm just going to keep researching. Hopefully I can just beat him out with uh, research late game Blood Elf. And try not to do heroes or something silly. Looks like Kara might have kept pushing. So I'm going to get two hero kills right here. Alright, so he's going three heroes top, so I definitely need to save up so I can do at least my special unit, the fried chicken, and Kalthus. Those two at least have to go top lane. I'm getting this nice good hero kill, that's a good 300 gold. Might be getting Urvia. Might be, don't know. Looks like I did get Urvia. That means I'll get Athissa. And that just gave, that just pushed me over the gold for at least my special unit. Thankfully I got this lumber mill down here. That's helping repair my barracks as that is the best lumber mill you can get on the farthest opposite side. So that's some good uh, building, uh, some good building regeneration that's happening going on. One hit point per second regeneration. All right, so that's special unit and two heroes. I'll be able to do special unit and one hero. My special unit will soul burn, which Nogentis is already soul burned.
let's just use a spell. Alright, looks like uh, the enemy left. One more thing of Essence Strain, so let's get Essence Strain going. Because it seems like they all left, so that means I should be the de facto winner versus an AI. An AI that has no mana and no right barracks. No hero, no special unit to summon either. Yeah, that should be a pretty simple uh, victory call right there. Should be. Let's do Blood Rage. Okay, so I took care of Ashara. Instant resummon. Incinerating arrows, because now I have extra gold. All four towers are researching. Well guys, I hope you've enjoyed this. It was a uh, tough, uh, there are a few questionable pushes and questionable calls by me on uh, what I should what I should do, but in the end it worked out for for me. I was able to uh, pull it out, got that torn right barracks. Then I then thanks to the void elves who killed the fort, my whole wave was able to just push on through and destroy the void elves. And then I was lucky enough to get this top barracks, or the right barracks from the Naga destroyed. Yeah, it just kind of worked out great for me. Then did not research an ultimate weapon. Oh, it's cars. <laughs> Kara's still doing work. I should smite Kara just so I can say I killed all the units. I mean, technically, the Void Health is, you know, he's still got one unit alive. For the moment. Ashar is going invulnerable. It's got 4,000 life, will come out. So this title guardian should survive when this fortress blows up. That means Kara is going to go down when that fortress blows up. If not, I'll smite her. So all the units on the battlefield will be dead, maybe. I'm wondering if Car is going to get hit by it, by the explosion. She did not, and she did, but Smiter. All right. So thanks for watching, guys. I hope you enjoyed it. Um, yeah. See you next time. Go watch the tournament with Kiri and Tor. We're having, we're having a blast. At least I am. We're trying to cast every match so you guys can see some really good guys, uh, really good uh, players of Survival Chaos battle it out. So go take a look. Take care. Bye.